the students are concerned about the environment. They're concerned about what's going on around in Ames. Um, a lot of the people, a lot of the students have, have felt it throughout the summer and they really are, you know, concerned. But it's still short about seven hours. You're still short? Yeah. I don't think it's going to do much, you know, good because they'll use as much water as they want anyway. Do the students seem like they uh, care about it? Or are they talking about it at all? Well, I've heard a lot. Yeah, you know, a lot of them say it in a joking way, but I think, you know, subconsciously they are thinking about it and seriously. We know that the curfew ordinance probably will not be a complete answer to it. Uh, we do hope that it will uh, cut down on the number of people on the streets after 11 o'clock at night. So this will be a uh, lot less people for the uh, police department to have to keep an eye on. built in North Dakota and installed in North Dakota for a temporary uh, missile site and radar installation up there uh, for the people who built the radar installation and missile site and after it was completed they had no longer any use for them. Now that this will really help. Well, I think we're a good football team, but we're not in that class. Those were two national championship teams that proved that they were national champions because they won them. Uh, we don't have the physical strength uh, of the Selman brothers or Jimbo Elrod. We don't have a great running back like Joe Washington. No great receivers like Owens and Brooks. Uh, but we got good football players. And But the league has good football players. There's just as good teams in the league, I think, as Oklahoma's got. But I think we're a good football team. And I think uh, it'll be a wild scramble like it was last year. You do feel there's some teams that certainly can challenge you for the oh, championship. There's no question about it. I look around the league at their talent and people. We're not any different. Uh, I think we got uh, you know good running backs, and I think Thomas Lott is the best running quarterback in the league. And uh, but you know we've got to play well, and uh, we've got to have some luck and stay healthy.
um, is in, pers in, in terms of the whole perspective of what the options and alternatives are, which would be a Republican legislature, that record is damn good. Solutions, only intelligent decisions. Decision. I believe, um, as I stated in the text of my prepared statement, that uh, this next generation, which is really the decade of the 80s, is a period in which major crisis is going to be confronted by this state. And it's how we resolve those crises that are going to be significant in terms of the long range uh, uh, effect upon not only the economic livelihood of all Iowans. Substance of the program. Before I take some questions, um, I'd one uh, like to reintroduce to you. Well, I get to pick my own hours mostly, and I can kind of say who I get to work with and everything if there's a personality conflict. And I get to pay, make out my own paycheck. That's, that's pretty good. You get to eat as much as you want? Yeah. <laughs> I do. Well, I think we are. Uh, I think they've hit their uh, uh, friends and neighbors uh, long enough that uh, they're ready to play a game against uh, Wichita State on Saturday. Wichita State may be a little stronger opening season opponent than you might like if you could hand pick one. Well, I think they're a better football team than I, uh, I think a lot of people originally felt. They, they ended their season strong last year with a win over Tulsa, and, and this year they've already beaten a West Texas State team that was uh, picked high in the Missouri Valley. So they got off to a good start. They, they've got a sound defensive football team, and they've got some skilled people at the running backs, and uh, I, it looks to me like they could be a fine football team. Jackers only threw five times last week against West Texas State. Would you be surprised they didn't open up a little more this week? Well, from all uh, reports that I've, I've heard that they expect to open up uh, their offense a little more with uh, more, uh, like, let's say, sprint out type uh, passes, uh, multiple off, uh, offensive sets, and uh, probably more uh, option football. They, they did a great job last uh, week on the lead draw on the uh, uh, dive play, so uh, they uh, uh, I, I think their coach has said that they'd like to open up the offense a little more. Earl, we've heard a whole lot about Iowa State's defense. I don't think there's much doubt it's going to be pretty good. What about the offense? Well, I think the offense has got to gel from game to game. I, I would be uh, uh, surprised if we didn't improve every football game. I would be shocked. I think we have a uh, great opportunity to improve. I think we've got some good people on offense, and it's a matter of putting it all together. And I guess the offensive people are – People are talking that way are concerned about our quarterback, and I think Mike Tryon uh, can do it, and uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. I'm sure until the fans see the game, they'll have to do some armchair quarterbacking and wonder if uh, maybe anybody's looking ahead, but what's ahead, huh? Well, there's no reason for Iowa State to look ahead. We've got Wichita, and I think basically we're looking for an opening game, and from there we'll have to play it one at a time.
Credit unions have been offering the new service for the last two months. They pay about 4% interest, and they charge no service charge. That's why it's easy to understand why commercial banks have taken the credit unions to court. I'm sure they're objecting to it because some of their members or their customers will come to the credit union if they're in our field of membership for this service because they feel that it is less costly than the minimum balances that are being charged in the banks today. The banks claim the credit unions are not as strictly regulated as a commercial bank and therefore they say the credit union should not be in the checking account business. Phil Bell, News 5. Okay, this is a Oh yeah, I've had a lot of uh, difficulties in the yield and things so far. And everything. Okay. Do you do you are you hopeful that this might help? Being that there are thousands of other people in the same kind of situation. Well, I hope it'll help because uh, I'm really set back right now on this three percent. The majority of problems that student encounter are, students encounter are with damaged deposits, um, and it's basically a misunderstanding of what students should expect when they do put down damaged deposits on their apartments. Um, both students and landlords are unfamiliar with the laws that do govern the return of damaged deposits. Well, I think my chances are pretty good because there probably won't be quite a few people here since they'll be home studying where I should be right now. Well, I think it's good because I think there's been a, a lot of controversy back and forth between Iowa and Iowa State. And uh, I think finally, you know, you need to do something about it, have a football game. And, you know, people at Iowa think they're better than people at Iowa State and vice versa. And I think finally, you know, it's a way to, to settle part of the rivalry.
Personally, discipline is a matter of establishing the proper atmosphere the very first day of, of school. And uh, every individual teacher has to handle it dependent on his personality and his experience and, and uh, the particular given circumstance. Mostly I think it's a beautification. Uh, Main Street we uh, kind of renovated last fall. We put the lines on it and uh, the city park that we're starting. It's a long range project, however, probably three, maybe four years before we get it completed. And also uh, more community affairs. Uh, we have had two pretty good um, social event type things this year. And now next year I think we'll start again on the outside.